Have you just purchased a Mercedes and are ready to hit the road and play your favourite CD? Then you may have noticed that your new car might not have a CD slot. Hey guys and welcome to the channel. Yes, that's right, sadly CDs have become a thing of the past. So if you have just bought a brand new car, how do you play your favourite CD collection in it? Well, sadly, you can't directly, but in this video today, I'll show you some workarounds, which will show you how to do it. Now, streaming music is definitely the easiest, so with physical media that has become a thing of the past and moved away to being digital, this is certainly one way of playing music in your car. Most cars these days have Bluetooth capability, which essentially connects it for calls and to access your phone book so you know who's calling, but most importantly, with Bluetooth, you can play music directly from your phone. This method, streaming music, is certainly the easiest with some streaming services allowing access to over 90 million songs. The chances that your CD collection are within this are pretty high. And you just pay a set amount per month and then you have access to almost any artist, literally anywhere. So this is really good, you know the convenience factor is right up there. Uh, most popular choices today are Apple Music, Spotify, Amazon Music, YouTube Music and even Tidal as well. So these are things to consider because they all have different features and prices and that sort of thing. Although most of them do offer a free trial, Spotify is quite unique though because it does offer a free tier but you do have adverts in between selected songs and that sort of thing. So that sounds really good but what about the downsides? Well the downsides are it uses your data allowance each month for your phone because obviously you're streaming the music. So. If you don't have a high data package for your phone, then you could easily burn through that. You do have to pay for the music monthly because it is a, you know, a subscribable package. And you don't actually own the music. So what about if you want to use your existing CDs and get those converted to kind of a digital format? This is where we'll make use of a USB stick and convert CDs to this. This is great if you don't want to pay monthly to access music and want to use music you already own. Yes, it requires a little bit of work, but one of these, a typical 32 gigabyte memory stick, can hold six to 8,000 songs, which can be up to 600 albums. So how do you do it? Well, of course you will need that memory stick, so if you don't have one, I'll pop a link down below in case you wanted to get one yourself. And you will need a USB-C adapter if your car has USB-C ports. They look a bit like this. So grab yourself one of those as well if you need an adapter. Now, finally in this chain, you then will need a laptop with a CD drive so you can actually get them copied to the memory stick. So this next bit will show you how to do that. So first things first, pop your CD into your drive on your laptop. Depending on your operating system, if you have a Mac by Apple, you might want to use Apple Music or iTunes. Or if you use Windows, the one with the start logo down here, you can choose a program like Windows Media Player, which is built right in. Once the CD is in, load up your program of choice, in this case I'll use Apple Music or iTunes, and you'll find on the top a picture of a CD. Click this one and then click Import CD on the right. This will then take a short while while it copies the tracks to your computer. After this is finished, you'll then want to copy them to the memory stick itself. So plug your memory stick in, open it up on computer or finder if you're using a Mac, then highlight the songs you want to copy and drag them into the folder. As you may have a few albums, I would strongly recommend placing them into folders when on the memory stick just to keep it organised. So once you've done all of this, let's have a look and see what it looks like in the car. So the guys, once you've done that and copied the music from your computer to your memory stick, you're then ready to plug it into the car. So once you plug it in, it literally just starts playing. Now of course, don't forget some models of Mercedes do have USB-C ports, you might need that dongle. Again, that link is below just in case you need it. So yeah, once it's plugged in, it will start playing and what it actually does by default is play all the songs back to back, uh, I think in alphabetical order, but you might want to browse your albums. So this is why I said create the folders, because if you've done that, all you do is click on this one just here and then you'll see folder over on the right hand side. So if I tap on that one, you'll then see the folders just the same way they were shown on the computer. If you've tagged all of your kind of songs with uh, you know your artist album song information then those will appear on there uh, and you can manually type that out on uh, windows media player and itunes or apple music um, but for simplistic sake if you put them in folders even if you don't have that data they'll all be categorized correctly so now I'll click on uh, nick o'leary's mix and then choose my preferred song 
just one of those and it will start playing so you can literally have all of these different songs in the car without having to swap cds or anything like that because they're all stored on that one memory stick and that is how you convert all of your cds to a digital format in your new car and there we go then guys that concludes this week's video on how to copy a cd to a memory stick but guys if you want to know more tutorials check out this playlist right here because this one houses all of my mercedes-benz tips and tricks that i've made over the past couple of years or so well guys, thank you so much for watching. Huge shout out to these guys, Sand and Mercedes-Benz, as they help provide access to all these awesome cars in the videos. Until next week, guys, see you then.